On and off. I haven't been doing much recently, as you know, because I'm hibernating for winter. No, no I haven't got any. I haven't taken any jobs in for, for January. But I've been doing a little bit of thinking about electric cars, electric defenders. And a lot of people have asked me, when am I going to do an electric defender, an EV defender? Well, I can tell you the date. It's going to be on the 12th of never. It is a complete pointless waste of time. Yeah, I've told you. I was looking at them over the last few days and I've been having to sort of giggle to myself because here in Canada, out west, it's horrendously cold. It's minus 30, minus 50. And uh, they're finding out electric cars aren't really what they cracked up to be. Um, Alberta in particular has got problems with electrical distribution because they've been pushed into this, uh, what's it called, green technology, uh, net zero. So the wind turbines aren't putting out much power and the solar panels covered in ice and they only work during the, during the day and of course in winter the daytime's very short so you ain't got much power. So what they're doing is they're doing like rolling blackouts across Alberta and town because they want to prioritise the electric for business and heating for houses. So the old, your old EV cars, well they get, they're right down to the bottom of the list so you're kind of stuck. And of course range is reduced when it's very cold because when you're charging you can't fast charge a frozen battery so it's not what they're cracked up to be but going back on to Land Rovers I did a bit of research now I'm not sure if this is correct so you'll have a go at me and stuff like this but I was the only kit I could really find was a kit from a company I'll write it down below and uh, a kit to convert a Land Rover to electric was £24,000. That's just for the kit, that's not including fitting and probably not including tax either. So I did a bit of maths. Now if you want to play along with me, if you've got nothing else to do, grab a calculator or a bit of paper and work this out because it's kind of fun. I was laughing at the end of it and I wasn't even drunk. So £24,000, we'll work in pounds and miles because that's the easiest for you guys in the UK to understand. And then at the end of the day, you can convert into kilometres or dollars or whatever you want to do. So £24,000 is a lot of money. It really is a lot of money. Here, over here in Canada, it's $41,000. So, uh, yeah. But £24,000, you haven't even got a Land Rover yet for me to do. I haven't even bought a Land Rover yet. So by the time we've bought it, shipped it, in Canadian dollars, we're going to be up to around about $100,000 or £60,000, £70,000. So, anyway. So, I looked at petrol, uh, diesel prices yesterday in the UK, £1.38 a litre. Now, if you get £24,000 uh, divided by £1.38, you will buy 17,391 litres of fuel. Pretty good, eh? Where are you going to put it? <laughs> now, next thing is, if our Land Rovers, on average, I know yours will do more or may, maybe do less, but if I said they do 25 miles to the gallon, it's a nice round figure to work with, and I think it's a fair one. But you could adjust it, it doesn't really matter. So, if we want to find out how many miles per litre it'll do, I, I, I googled it and I got 6.6, .6, well, there's 6 point something recurring, but 6.6, .6, miles per litre. So it's 6.6 .6 miles per litre. So 6.6 .6 times 17,391 litres would actually get you 115,000 miles. Not bad, eh? It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> now, the thing about that is the circumference of the Earth is only 24,000 miles, so you've gone around the Earth four times. Or in Canada, if you want to work it out in Canada, I worked that out too. Uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia to Vancouver, um, Vancouver Island in British Columbia, that's from one side to the other, is uh, 3,767 miles. Well, that's kind of a long way. Now, working on the fact that the 24,000 pound, how far would that get you? Well, you could go from Halifax to Vancouver and back again 15 times. Now, I left the killer till last 
because your twenty-four thousand dollar pound conversion. What's the range on that, Mike? It must be fantastic. One hundred miles. That's it. That's all you're getting. You might as well have a bicycle. It's absolutely rubbish because think when you think about it. Now finger wagging there. When you think about it. You think, oh, I can go 50 miles there, 50 miles back. No, you can't. You can go 50 miles there and I'll, you'll have range anxiety and pulling your air, air out, looking at your gauge all the time, making sure you're going to go home, get home. That's not pulling a trailer, that's not fully loaded. Or going uphill. <sighs> Bonkers, isn't it? Really, in real terms, it's 40 miles there, 40 miles back with a little bit, bit to spare. Now, to put that into perspective, if I wanted to go from here to Montreal, which is about 100, 100 kilometres, oh no, it's 144 kilometres. We could say it was about 80 miles from here to Montreal. Maybe, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. But I wouldn't get back. <laughs> That's the problem. I'd have to find somewhere in Montreal to charge up the Land Rover sufficiently to get back. And that's not very far, is it? So it's all right to go to work, but if you want to go to work in a car, well, you know, if it's a short distance, just, just buy a little Yaris like mine. 35 miles to the gallon. Starts on the button even at minus 32. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. So anyway, that's, uh, that's that. But I was looking at all this net zero stuff and how it's all falling down. Everything's falling down. You know, the governments are pushing and pushing for more greener stuff and... I, I, I don't know whether I should put this bit in. I might do it. I'll, I'll go on. Let's see, let's, let's see what reactions we get. But I, I do support all the farmers and truckers out in Europe who's going through the same thing as we did in Canada two years ago with the Freedom Convoy. Look how Trudeau finished that one off. But it's coming to a point where people are just absolutely fed up of all this net zero and cut this and cut that, cut farms, kill cows because they fart too much. It's bonkers. We need food. We need farmers. If there was a way I could support the farmers in Germany or wherever you are, if there's a, like a GoFundMe or something like that, tell me. Tell me and I'll chuck in a week's wages to support you. I was about that. That's the honest truth. I will do. But one thing I wanted to say was that in Canada, on, on our national broadcaster CBC, and you can go to the website... You don't have to believe me, but go to the website, cbc.ca, and look at the news on the European protests. Nothing. Tumbleweed. Crickets. Nothing. Wasn't even, it's not even, not even mentioned. You type it, in, type it in the search, nothing. They don't want us to know. I, I, I think the government thinks we're stupid and we haven't got, like, you know, like, uh, what is it, social social networking or anything like that. We haven't got that. But it's really good. I mean, it's all over bloody Europe. Spain, France, Germany, Netherlands, Romania, Poland. Is it Denmark as well? Well, they might as well all be uprising. But we can't go on like this. We can't go on like governments taxing fuel. In Canada, we've got, uh, out west, we've, well, I think it's most of Canada. Quebec hasn't got it yet, but it's got, they've got a carbon tax. And apparently this, this makes, makes no sense because they've got a carbon tax and then you can get a carbon repay. So what's the point of having a carbon tax? But Trudeau wants to put it up uh, four times. He says it's not enough. We want a fourfold increase in carbon tax. It's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. I don't know where, where that money's going. It's getting, it's getting expensive here. It really is getting expensive. So if you're thinking about shelling out $41,000 for a diesel, for an for a electric conversion for a Defender, just to save the planet, well, maybe you could, but you're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> so anyway, that was my, that's my thoughts for today. It was just a little quickie just to say I'm still here, but I'm hibernating until February. I... <laughs> It's it's not too bad weather outside today. It's zero, but it's snowing a bit. But out west, it's been a bugger. It really has been a bugger. So what I'm going to do, just for you, instead of rambling on now, I'm going to put some links below so you can watch the things I've been watching this week. And especially watch the one about the electric Hyundai, uh, is it Hyundai uh, 
car. A young guy bought it. He, he paid $58,000 for it, Canadian dollars, last year. Scratched the battery, replacement battery, $60,000! More than the bloody car cost! How bonkers is that? How environmentally friendly is that? Now you've got two cars. Oh man, this world's going crazy. Anyway, I can't say any more because my head's going to explode. See you soon.